This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at uh, Rudskogen. Uh, this is a racetrack with an, a Neo ET7, and we're going to do a little uh, drive around here now. Uh, let me see. So, yes, this is the first time I will be able to drive the ET7. So, uh, ideally, I want to drive on uh, on public roads, and I'm not really looking into any race performance. But we're going to try since we have it here. So, let's see, we are now in comfort mode, so there's actually a somewhat restricted power in comfort. You don't get all the power available when you, when you floor it. So, uh, first thing I notice is that it is relatively quiet here. Okay, uh, it's also a little bit wet uh, on the road, so I have to be careful. But let me get some speed here. I'm not sure if, I, if you guys can see the speedometer, but... Wow, this is quiet. There was a bit of shake when I uh, accelerate. I'm not sure what that one is. Let's try the brakes. Okay, yeah, uh, limited traction, but uh, seems to be good brakes. And then let's see, how about uh, the suspension? Okay, we, we have to wait for a straight then to just, I'm actually taking it very easy now, uh, grandma style around the track. Oh, you see it slips a little bit there. But it seems to have very little body roll. We, by the way, we have four people in the car now. Four Norwegian adults. Well, three Norwegian adults. <laughs> uh, so also bear that in mind that uh, the car might be a little bit heavy. But um, uh, let me see. Try to get in the... Well, I have to say the, the steering wheel is very easy. It's been set to be very comfortable now, at least the steering wheel. Let me see how if we do a little bit of this. Passengers are getting dizzy. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have too many bumps to drive over because I want to get a feel of how, how it uh, goes over the bumps. Because people say that the comfort here is really, really good. That would be, yeah. Well, maybe if I can, okay, you know what? It feels like it's set up to be a bit, um, uh, a bit sporty, even in comfort mode. And at least in comfort mode, then you, I feel like you don't have too much power. Uh, yeah. So for me, when I drove the ES8, uh, I, want, I used then a custom mode and then uh, set uh, everything to custom except for the power, because then you get, oh, I to, uh, then you get all the power available if you floor it. So now, um, and now we're going to switch over to sport mode on the second run. I only have two. Okay, ooh, I can already feel that it's, uh, S snapping up a bit. Hmm, I'm not sure if I want to do the slot. Okay, maybe we can do the slot. Some of the cones have been uh, knocked down, but let's see. Well, nice. Yeah, this could do the, this would definitely pass the moose test. <laughs> and then we're going to try a little launch. Uh, we will not do any, uh, I, I brought Draghi, but I saw that it's slippery outside, so it will not be a fair run anyway. Okay, how was our launch again? We had to press brake, full throttle, and then just let go. Mm. All right. Yeah, you heard the spin there. So it spins a couple of times. Oh, this is, oh, this is fast. Ah, uh, okay, I feel like in sport mode, you now have suddenly uh, less region. Uh, the steering has been s slightly uh, sharpened up or heavier. Uh, the car, did the car also lower? Yeah. Okay, so we have uh, adaptive dampers, so adjustable dampers. Mm. And we now have all the power available. By the way, I'm going to check something here. It says here 3.8 seconds. If you go to sport, it will say 5.9 seconds. So that's actually a quite a big difference. Now we get all the power available. Yeah, the, even there, we have the, that was funny, man. Nomi, when you switch from, when you switch. Oh no, I, I didn't want to use sport plus. No, wait, sport plus? Uh, you can drive in sport. Okay. But you drove in Sport Plus. Oh, I did Sport Plus. Yeah. Sport Plus will actually limit some of the traction control. Uh, <laughs> but Sport, that was, it, it said 5.9 5 seconds. Yeah. Oh, so you have to be in Sport Plus to get all the power. Yeah. Mm, okay, okay. All right, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to use Sport Plus around the track now today when it's a bit uh, wet outside. Let's see, if I try, try to go over these bumps. Yeah, okay. So, um, hmm, what should I say about the uh, ET7 then? Um, it feels quite refined. 
Yeah, people who buy ET7, they are not looking to go around the track with it. <laughs> so I have to give you guys uh, useful information to potential buyers. And I gotta say, price-wise, it's going to compete against more expensive cars like EQS even, EQE maybe. Okay, maybe EQE. So it should compete against the EQE in comfort. And you know what? I actually drove EQE 300, that's a rear-wheel drive over here because I'm testing it nowadays. So I have it kind of fresh in memory how the EQE handles. And the EQE actually feels a bit more, uh, a bit softer. Maybe, yeah, yeah. But this one feels firmer. So that could be good or bad, depending on your taste. Oh, is it? <laughs> okay, so in sport, it seems like it allows, does it allow a little bit more slip or something? Uh, I think so. Um... Just a little, a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. You can uh, set it up as you'd like. Uh, every mode you can customize. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. So wow, that was it. Um, very good, I have to say. Uh, the ride, the handling, uh, everything is really good. We, we we need to take the slalom once more, maybe, just to get an impression here. So it seems to be very quiet. It has double glazed windows in the front and the back. Uh, as for uh, road noise, I cannot test it properly because this surface is relatively smooth. But almost no body roll, as you guys can see. So I think that's it. Now we're going to change driver. So that was a short test of the ET7. Eventually, I'm going to borrow it in just a couple of weeks and I will borrow it for a whole week. <laughs> but uh, so far, I have to say, I'm very impressed of uh, uh, what it uh, feels like. Yeah, the whole car, the steering wheel, the interior, everything. This is actually the production car, not the, the pre-production we tested uh, many, uh, yeah, a, a while ago. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.